Hi, I'm John Biggs, and this is TechCrunch Makers. Before we saw Moby, which is a ball bot, but this is the grandfather of Moby, and this is uh, Michael Shulman, a PhD student at the Robotics Institute, CMU. And this is your baby. This you, you guys have been building this, right? Yeah, this is this is uh, my research project, and mm -hmm. it's what I work on all the time. All right, let's <laughs> take a look. This is BallBot, the original BallBot. It was developed here at the Robotics Institute by Ralph Hollis. Mm -hmm. And what does it do? So BallBot is a person-sized mobile robot that balances on a ball. So it's unique in that it's just got one spherical wheel. Mm -hmm. We saw Moby before. This is a, uh, this has arms, and this is an entirely different design and entirely different model, correct? Yeah, this is a, a research platform, and we're, we're testing a lot of different things, including uh, physical human-robot interaction. Mm -hmm. So people um, pushing this robot, pulling this robot, taking it with them. And we've got the unique ability um, of arms, so you can take this robot by the hand, pull it along with you, or this robot can lead you by the hand. Mm -hmm. And what are all these different layers? Like, it looks like a cake. So down at the bottom is the ball, and this is our, our one single spherical wheel and it's uh, driven by what we call the inverse mouse ball drive. It's like an old computer mouse that has a ball in it where the ball rolls the rollers and that tells your computer how far it's gone. We do the opposite. We actually roll the rollers and that rolls the ball. So we've got four rollers, four motors, and then this whole drive unit can rotate with respect to the robot so that we can turn in place. Here we've got our motor drivers and our, our motors for the legs. Our legs give us a statically stable configuration so that we can charge, but when we're in operation we retract them. Right in here we've got our inertial measurement unit, probably the most important piece of the whole robot because it tells us which direction gravity is pointing. So what I understand that the actual motor parts, the, the ones that control the ball are basically separate from the high level, high level sensors and things? That's right. We've so got, if these things fail, this is not going to fall over? Absolutely. We've got two computers, two separate computers, one high level and one low level. Our low-level computer is right here. It's uh, an embedded system running QNX operating system, which is a real-time operating system. And its job is to read the sensors, like the IMU, and drive the motors to keep us balanced. Our higher-level machine reads higher-level sensors and does things like localization, person tracking, and sends those uh, sort of high-level commands like how far to lean to the QNX box. But if it has a full system crash, we still will stay up. Okay, and what's going on with the array up here? So up top, this is a relatively new feature of BallBot, is our, our sensory turret, and it can uh, pan and tilt, and it's got a few more sensors for us. So like down here, we've got another laser range finder, which gives us a single plane of ranges by shooting out a, a little laser with a mirror and measuring time of flight back, so it gives you a, a, an array of ranges. Then we've got um, a device here, which is very similar to the Microsoft Connect, made by Asus, though. Uh, it gives us a, a camera image and a depth image. We've also got speakers for doing speech generation to let people know what's going on, and an array microphone that gives us speech input as well as direction to the speaker. All right, so let's look at some of the, how some of the sensors work on the screen. Sure. So what you're seeing right now is a visual representation of the robot and the data that's coming into the point cloud sensor. So you're seeing a colorized point cloud of depth information along with the color. So, so this is just like the Connect. The Xbox Connect, but it's, much, it's a little bit smaller on the on the head here. That's right. But this gives the this gives the robot 3D vision essentially. All right. So what, can we see this girl in uh, action or guy or whatever you want to call it? <laughs> sure. Warning: I am about to bring legs up without balancing. Good. Balancing. So the robot's balancing now brought its legs up, went from a statically stable configuration to dynamically stable. Mm -hmm. So it's actively balancing right now. So if you pull it, it moves around. So this is my little buddy now. I'm just going to walk <laughs> him around. Yeah, can you do arms in compliant mode? Arms in compliant mode. So now we can actually take the arms, move them around, mm -hmm. take ball bot by the hand, and pull him around with us. Now can he do things with his arms? So right now these are pretty simple arms. They're just two degrees of freedom. They're basically to prove that we can still balance with arms. Mm -hmm. So normally we put big heavy masses at the end and we do oh, things okay. like put our arms out straight and then we have to lean back or else we'd start accelerating mm -hmm. forward. We can, with uh, giving it a little bit of assistant, help it to show at least some initial manipulation capabilities. So with these Velcro pads, we're going to grab this box. And then BallBot's going to help me to carry it around. So BallBot's bearing some of the weight, I'm bearing some of the weight, 
and it's still acting as a totally passive follower. Wherever I want to move with the box, I just pull the robot around with me, uh -huh. and it can help me carry this to wherever I need to go. How much did it cost to build this one? Uh, all parts included, this ball bot's about $50,000. $50,000, so I could probably pick one of these up. You guys oh, yeah. can build me one. Oh, for sure. I'll just have stuff carry. I'll just carry around my bags, groceries. Yeah, when do you need it, by? All right, maybe two, next week or whatever. All right, so this is BallBot. This has been TechCrunch Makers, and I'm John Diggs. Thanks for watching.